deep in the forest of Tanzania, in pockets of the Udzungwa Mountains, a team of researchers discovered a new species of elephant shrew. Now you might be thinking... Oh, a shrew. I know what a shrew looks like. It's those little beady-eyed things with short legs. But elephant shrews, also called sengis, aren't really shrews at all. We have no ecological equivalents. They're not like anything else. They're, they're pretty much like elephant shrews. <laughs> Galen Rathbone, one of the scientists to identify the new species, is a researcher at the California Academy of Sciences. This footage was taken in the early 70s in Kenya, when Rathbone was researching elephant shrews for his Ph.D. You have to kind of think of a cross between a miniature anteater and a miniature antelope. As you could probably see from that clip, uh, it was tethered, and some of the time it was running faster than I could run flat out. But because they're so fast... You usually only get a glimpse of them. So when Rathbun started hearing reports of a strange-looking elephant shrew back in 2002, he wasn't sure it was really a new species. It wasn't clear what people had really seen. Then his colleague... Francesco Rovero... ...set out camera traps. You're watching footage from one right now. And he sent me one of these images and said, what is this? It doesn't look like anything that we know. And I confirmed it looked pretty interesting. And so then we got together an expedition, and we all went into the forest in March 06, and that's when we actually saw the animals. That's when he knew this was no ordinary elephant shrew. You see, elephant shrews can be divided into two main groups. One is smaller. The other group are the giant sengis, which are larger, and they're all very colorful. The size of the mystery elephant shrew is part of what gave it away as a new species. Even for a giant sengi, it was giant. Its coloring is also different. This animal has the, the amber beer bottle colored body, but it has a very jet black lower rump. The forehead is gray. Which is how it got its name, the gray-faced sengi. The chin is yellow instead of bright, rusty colored as, as other species have. So it, it's quite distinctive, actually. So what's life like for a giant sengi? Okay, the day in the life of a giant sengi. During the day, they spend almost all of their time slowly walking through the forest floor, probing the leaf litter with their long noses and flicking up ants and termites and other invertebrates. And that kind of gives you a feel for how they live on the forest floor. Sengis are part of the super cohort Afrotheria. This is just a fancy taxonomy term for a grouping of orders that are thought to have a common ancestor, Rathbun says. But Afrotheria includes a pretty diverse bunch. Elephants, sea cows, hyraxes, uh, elephant shrews, tenrex, and golden moles. And it doesn't mean they're very closely related. It just means that they don't have any other close relatives, and you have to go way, way, way back, 100-odd million years, in Africa to find their common ancestor. And they have no ecological equivalents anywhere else. Why? Why isn't there anything else out there like them? I, I ponder this often because, for some reason, Africa produced elephant shrews, which are little anteaters that, that are very, very mobile. And there's just not something similar elsewhere. It's, it's quite odd. <laughs>